And back now to some new data revealing the city of Bakersfield experienced a troubling rise in motorcycle crashes leading to numerous injuries and fatalities. Eyewitness News reporter Leslie Valle joins us now in studio to reveal what factors are driving this trend. Leslie. Yes, Rochelle, well, I spoke with those who analyzed the data and they told me there's a number of reasons for this increase and the purpose of sharing those reasons is for driver awareness. We're as bad as it gets and this is another statistic that unfortunately bears that out. Matt Clark, managing partner at Chaincone Clark, says his firm looked at data that shows Bakersfield saw a nearly 30% increase in motorcycle crashes in 2023. That statistic surpassed the nation's average by 10%. The firm examined data accumulated by the state of California. It reveals there were 88 crashes involving a motorcycle, resulting in 101 injuries and six deaths. Clark tells us in 2021 and 2022, there was a drop in these types of crashes. So what caused the alarming spike? Once we got back to sort of post pandemic lifestyle in 2023, the numbers went back up. Along with more drivers back on the street, Clark also says many drivers aren't obeying traffic laws. We rank towards the bottom of basically every list. According to law enforcement, the top reason for these crashes are unsafe speeds accounting for 28% of the crashes. Then it goes down to driver right away and so forth. At the bottom of the list is DUI, accounting for only 13% of crashes. However, Clark says just because DUI is at the bottom of the list, that doesn't mean it's not an issue. It is every bit as big a problem today as it's been uh, in, in the past several years. Eyewitness News spoke with the family of a violent crash victim in 2023. Brian Clark, a longtime Arvin police officer and BNSF special agent officer. He was injured while riding his motorcycle on Panama Lane and Ash Road when a suspected DUI driver hit him. Brian's leg and several fingers had to be amputated. Clark says there are enough laws. He just needs to be enforced more. If people were to adhere to the rules of the road as described in the vehicle code, you'd see far fewer of these incidents. And if you'd like to take a closer look at that data, that report can be found on our website at bakersfieldnow.com. In studio, Leslie Valle, Eyewitness News.